Hi everybody, Richard Tromans here again at Artificial Lawyer TV. Today we're talking about Neotologic again. You may have seen an earlier episode um, about the company. Um, with us is Michael Mills, the co-founder and also the CSO of Neota. Hi Michael. Howdy Richard, nice to see you. Good to have you on the show. Um, so today we're going to talk about a particular aspect of Neotologic, which is workflows. Um, many of you know a lot about Neota, some of you perhaps know a little bit, but today we're going to focus on workflows. Michael, could you just tell us a little bit about what workflows mean inside Neotologic? Sure. Uh, the, the classic definition of, of a workflow is a process that involves multiple people, multiple steps over time in which you want to keep track of what's happening. Uh, that's the the classic and, and straightforward definition. For uh, us at, at Neotologic, workflow is part of our overall platform vision for delivering intelligent automation in the legal services and compliance space. And if I may, I'll show a couple of graphics to illustrate how workflow fits, and then we'll dig into workflow in, in more detail. Yes, please do. So for us, workflow is part of one of the key pillars of our platform. What we say in shorthand form is that uh, Neota is in the business of intelligent automation of processes, expertise, and documents, all on a data automation foundation. And we are, were known when we were founded, of course, as an expertise automation company. We have found that uh, process is increasingly important to our customers, and we've therefore built an entire workflow platform that is fully integrated with all of the other aspects of our system. And the uh, workflow platform is able to take advantage of and integrate with all of the other pieces of the platform, including our very important hybrid reasoning engine at the center, which makes our workflow particularly capable in a variety of ways that I'll talk about in a minute. Well, law, law firms um, like corporate legal departments do lots of things that uh, are multi-step processes that I think law firms first thought about workflow a number of years ago in connection with new matter intake or new business intake, in uh, which is a multi-step, multi-person process involving a, a partner originating a matter, uh, people approving it, conflicts checking being done, credit checking. Uh, these days in some firms, anti-money laundering checking, all of those things need to be done. They need to be done in the right sequence, sometimes in parallel. And uh, all of those need to come together before a new matter is actually opened. And it turns out that in law firms, there are lots of such processes not so much about the practice of law in high-end firms. Uh, they, they may have niches within firms that are highly repetitive, relatively routine work, but uh, most of the global 200 or 250 law firms uh, tend to have kind of ad hoc processes for the deals and cases they do. But internally, they have all kinds of things that are high volume repetitive processes. Corporate legal departments, who are very much part of our world these days, have uh, many examples of that sort of thing, often driven by a desire to create self-service for their business people. So that, as one general counsel of a very big company said to a newly hired lawyer, uh, I don't want you to be doing dumb stuff. I'd like you to be doing the important things. And if there are ways of pushing out to the business people, tools that they can use that enable them to do the work themselves, then that's a good thing from the company's perspective. And what, although we've done that sort of thing with expertise automation for years, what workflow gives us is an ability, for example, in a corporate legal department to build an end-to-end -end process in which a business person initiates something depending on the nature of the thing that's being initiated, the answers that that business person gives, it may get routed to the legal department for approval. It may have to go to the accounting department for approval. Then it goes off to a party outside the organization, a counterparty to an agreement, for example, a 
vendor agreement. There may be negotiation workflow in which people go back and forth uh, about aspects of the agreement. Then it comes back in, it gets reviewed by legal and it ends up in a repository somewhere. And what our workflow engine has enabled us to do is uh, to make, make it possible for business people to document those uh, processes. And then for relatively non-technical people, our uh, citizen developer, as we like to call neodologic authors, to actually in build the tools that then instantiate that whole process. And behind the scenes, there's automated tracking at every level. The everything that's done at every step is recorded in our data management system underneath. And that allows, for example, a corporate legal operations manager to track progress, to identify bottlenecks, to look for uh, opportunities to improve the process and, and so on. Excellent. Well, it sounds fascinating. Let's actually have a look at it. Um, if you could share the, uh, the screen to uh, show sure. the demo, that'd be very I, helpful. Uh, I, I did pre-record this demo for a couple of reasons. First, I don't want your audience to watch me fumble around, uh, forgetting that I've done something or not done something, but also because I wanted to speed up some parts of the process uh, in order to make it uh, a little less uh, tedious to listen to. Company internet, a business person initiates a request by clicking on a link, which starts this Neotologic application. With a logic-driven interview, the app gathers all the information the legal department will need to review the request and assign it to the right person. When that step is complete, an email is sent to the legal department intake manager, who clicks the link to start the next step, review and assignment. The manager sees request details and can quickly decide whether to approve the request. If it's approved, the manager goes on to decide how to handle the matter, provide self-help materials, including other neotologic applications, or refer to outside counsel or assign to a lawyer in the legal department. Here, we'll assign it to the legal department and to Jane Wilson, who will receive an email with all the information gathered during the intake and any notes by the manager. Now let's show how Neota Workflow Designer enables business people with zero technical training to sketch complete processes as if on a whiteboard. We identify the organization and the first role and then add the first task. A Neota application to initiate the request and gather detailed information. And then we add an email to notify the legal department that a request has been made. Now we need a second lane for the person who will receive the request, the legal department manager. Run another app, review and assign. And then the flow branches. We add a gateway to represent the branch based on whether it has been approved or not. If the request has been rejected, it goes back to the requester by email with an explanation of the reason for the rejection. If the request is approved, we'll label these things so it's clear on the diagram at all times. If the request is approved, the flow branches again, another gateway, to assign and route the matter to a lawyer in the legal department based on rules built into the system and the decision by the intake manager. So we need another lane for the lawyer in the legal department who will do the work if it's assigned to them. We add a manual task to represent the offline activity dealing with the request and one more application task so the lawyer can update the matter management system when the work is completed. We need an end to alert everyone that the assignment is completed, and we need to make sure that email is going to the lawyer in the legal department so we connect up the send email. Outside counsel is a separate organization, so it needs a pool of its own. 
we named the pool outside council, and then we named the lane for the role. Typically, a partner would be the intake person for a new matter. And we add a manual task again to represent the doing of the work offline. And another task to update the matter management system. And finally, an end task to round out and report that the work has been completed. Now we'll speed through adding emails where needed, assuring that labels are e easier to understand, connectors are in place, otherwise tidying up the diagram so that it's complete and explanatory and represents the business process that the business people intended it to do. When the business person is done, what they want has been documented quickly and simply. To make the workflow runnable, it is handed off to an author trained on the Neotologic platform. First thing the author does is switch off whiteboard mode to find out what's missing. Warnings and errors are highlighted. The emails haven't been written yet, and tasks need to be linked to Neota apps. Apps participating in a workflow are listed on the Apps tab. To link a task to an app takes just a moment. We'll select apps for the first two tasks. Here, the first one is the initial intake. And for the second app, Review and Assign, which is also missing its app, we'll now select the second application, the Review and Assign application. And now that we've done that, we can activate the Approved Decision Gateway by building a condition using the answer given by the legal department manager. Request approved is the condition, and we're going to set it to no for rejected. And then there are some other details to finish before we have a complete workflow ready to deploy. Let's take a look at the completed application. In part one, we have a Neota application to interview the business person about their request. Part two uses a Neota app to evaluate the request, assign a risk rating, recommend inside or outside counsel based on the nature of the work and the lawyer's expertise, and recommend self-help tools as well. In part three, the lawyers do their work offline, then update the department matter management system. And there we have it, an end-to-end -end process for legal requests. As business people use the workflow, the details of every session are reported here in the workflow dashboard. Users can track and resume their own assigned tasks. Managers can watch for bottlenecks, reroute work to others, and measure cycle times. Uh, that's a, a quick view of uh, our workflow system with the first step being a business person, sometimes with a tech person sitting beside them, drawing on the whiteboard. Second step, a Neota trained person fills in a bunch of details to actually make things, make the machine work. And then off you go. It can be deployed uh, instantly and people are at work. And we have dozens of these in production with some very big companies around the world uh, handling workflows that are uh, 11 times more complex than the one you saw, saw on screen. Wow. I mean, I, mean, I find it really interesting. It, it, it's always nice to see someone actually design one of these sort of no code workflows because you hear about these things a lot. And sometimes you'll see a diagram with like two nodes on it. And you're like, okay, that's pretty cool. But to actually see the whole thing connected, and as you say, you can get much bigger. It's very interesting. But I think, I think some people watching this might say, well, look, that's a very, very nice diagram. Um, I like it very much. Uh, but is that actually live? You know, when you go click email, mm -hmm. click app, is that actually now functioning mm -hmm. in an electronic environment and i guess the second question is that people might ask would be well, where is this where 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 is this existing you know mm -hmm. um sure um 
the, the, is it live? There, there are two steps. Um, we, we designed the product for business users to pick up in 60 seconds. If, if you know how to draw a flow chart uh, on either on paper or on a whiteboard or in Visio, you can draw out the business process. And that was the first set of steps that I went through. Um, and that uh, doesn't run. That's a, a document. It's a documented version of the process with a lot of detail in it, but it isn't quite ready to run. At that point, you need a person who understands the Neotologic platform, who's been through our online academy, for example, or been through one of our two-day workshops, who understands uh, how to build an application that actually asks those questions on screen uh, and how to uh, take that a little round email node and add into it uh, the, the name of the person it goes to and the content of, of the email. That process is a no-code process using the traditional parts of the Neotologic platform. Once that's done, it is truly runnable from that moment forward. It is a cloud application or a SaaS application. Mm -hmm. So everything is running uh, in virtual private clouds, either at Amazon or at Azure, depending on the client's need. That uh, session view that I showed at the end where you're tracking the progress, that can be on premises for the customer if they wish. Although most these days, prefer to have a properly secured cloud instance uh, because it's easier for them to manage and easier for them to have people all across their worldwide business access it. Uh, most of the work we do is with companies who have multiple regions and having a cloud platform, uh, it makes it easier for us to service them. Fascinating, fascinating. I mean, in terms of the limitations, if, if there are any, I mean, could you literally connect anything into this workflow? I mean, are there well, anything you, that you can't connect? Sure. Um, in, in the workflow itself, we are taking advantage of the power of the full Neotologic platform. And uh, we have built into Neotologic Studio, which is our high-end authoring tool, a uh, connection mechanism that uh, we call the web services editor uh, to be literal or technical about it. And with that, uh, we can connect to Salesforce, SharePoint, iManage, uh, HiQ, Net Documents, uh, HR systems, all kinds of different uh, tools. Uh, that does require a little bit of expertise. It, uh, they're, they're citizen developers at a, at a higher level, not because our tool is all that complicated, but because in order to connect to a complex, powerful system, you have to understand that system a fair amount. So um, I, I couldn't connect to SharePoint, for example. Uh, there are half a dozen young lawyers on our staff who could, but not me. Gotcha, makes sense. Yeah, it's fascinating. I mean, just the very last question really, which is how long does it take uh, someone to become a citizen developer? We, we say that uh, learning to use Neotologic as an author, meaning the full platform, not just the designer piece for workflow that I showed you, uh, is roughly like becoming uh, a, a skilled Excel developer. We have a, an online university program that people can do generally in a day or two. Oh, really? uh, we have a two-day workshop, uh, which is an intensive program with a live instructor, or these days a virtual live instructor. Um, and at the end of that, people have built real applications. As with Excel, uh, you can do a lot of very good stuff within a couple of days. After a couple of weeks, you're, you can handle a lot. There are levels of uh, mastery of Excel that take a while longer, but we peg it at about the level of learning Excel. Wow, wow. So pretty fast then, really. Yeah, we look, uh, ease of use is, is like the holy grail, you know, it, it's always slightly out of reach. Um, in every iteration of the, of the product, we spend time trying to get rid of things that confuse people, uh, simplify things that could be simpler. We're, uh, we released uh, 
last year a product called Canvas, which I think uh, yeah. you've heard about before, that is a lightweight authoring tool um, that is completely browser-based. You, you can't do things like connect to Salesforce with that, but you can do most of what's required in workflow. And the pieces in workflow uh, will be created often with Canvas, our lightweight authoring tool. And we have found business users take to Canvas pretty quickly with an hour of training. Fantastic. And just very last thing, mm -hmm. um, if somebody's watching this and they go, that sounds pretty cool, I'd like to use this, how do they, how do, they do that? They just, they, you know, they ring you up and they, they ring, ring us up. We, we set up a, we, we have some conversations with our, uh, our very good uh, sales and customer success folks. Uh, but we set them up in uh, a sandbox site so that they can begin to work with the tools. Uh, and the university is all online and people can go through that at their own pace and are very quickly uh, up and running. We, we have trained well over a thousand law students in the course of our law school programs. Uh, most of them are uh, very busy. They have other courses to take. They're, uh, they're demanding and fast and they learn uh, from the university, how to build things quickly enough to be able to complete an application within the course of a, of a, a semester. So uh, we find that if we give people access to the platform, they get moving very quickly. Thanks, Michael. That was really interesting. Thank you for being with us. Pleasure to see you again, Richard. Pleasure to talk about a product that my colleagues in, at Neologic and I are very proud of. Thanks. Thank you.